Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve the problem A from the bi-weekly contest 122. Uh, first, let's understand the problem. You are given an array of integer numbers of length n. Uh, the cost of an array is the value of its first element. For example, he is saying that 1, 2, 3, first element is 1. And now 3, 4, 1, the, my first element is 3. You need to divide nums into 3 disjoint continuous subarrays. And we need to return the minimum possible sum of the cost of the subarrays. Saying that, suppose we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We can divide this into 3 disjoint continuous subarrays. That means we can either split here or split here. If you are splitting here, in this, in this subarray, my first element will be 1. In this, it will be 4. And in this, it will be 5. Total sum is 10. So you want to return the 10. And he is saying that we need to return the minimum possible sum. So we need to partition this into uh, 3 subarrays such that my whole sum should be minimum. So I think you understood it. So you can try it. You can try it out for quite some time. Uh, if you are still not able to solve, you can watch the next part of the video. Now first let's understand this example. He is saying that 3 disjoint continuous subarrays. And we only consider about the first element, right? We are only consider about the first element and he did not give any sizes. The size can be 1 or 2 and it can be anything. Now if you see this 1, 2, 3 and 12. Now if, if I want to partition, how you are going to partition? I want to uh, first element definitely it will be in our list. First element definitely will be in our answer because it will start partition will be starting from the first element. Now, from the second element, we need to see uh, it which element we can partition. Now, if you see here 2 and 3, these are the minimum elements, so we are partitioning here. Now, if you are partitioning here, if you see my 1, and if I am going to partition here, this is 2 and 3, comma 12. That means I am partitioning 1, 2 and 3, comma 12. If I partition in this way, my answer will be 6. Now if you see here 5, 4, 3, we have 3 elements, so directly my answer will be 12. And 10, 3, triple 1. Now if you see here, 10 will be in my answer and 1, 1, which is 12. Now let's see the logic. Now if you see here, we want to partition into 3 subarrays. You can partition now if you have whole subarray. First element is definitely considered, right? First element is definitely considered. And second and third element second and third element can be anything can be anything right now if you are taking the uh, now if you are taking this or you can take any of the element as second element so i will take second element as second minimum i will take uh, not exactly second minimum uh, from here uh, i will sort the array from this position this is my zero index this is my first index i will sort the uh, array from first index to n minus one and in this in this i will take my first minimum and i will take the second minimum and i will partition at that position if i take the suppose my first minimum is coming here first minimum is coming here then i will do my first partition will be till this uh, till here and my second partition will start here and and my second minimum somewhere it, it lies suppose it is lying here then next partition will be happening here so i will add this element this element and this element so three minimums so if you think uh, now i think you have got it so constants are very low uh, we can do in a very brute force manner now if you see this is the logic now we are sorting it we are sorting from for, uh, first index to n minus one we are sorting and we are adding the sum to v of one plus v of two it's equals to v of zero v of initial s because this should be there in ours and we are returning this if you see my time complexity will be order of n into log n because we are using sorting so you can reduce this time complexity so if you use for loops for loop and using for loop if you calculate the first minimum second minimum uh, you can solve this problem in order of n as well so i think you have got it space will be constant order of one we are not using any extra space i think you understood it now if you understand it please do like and if you're new to the channel please do subscribe I have created a WhatsApp link so you can join that WhatsApp link. Uh, in that, we will discuss about the problems from the contest. So, I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.